So I was asked last night on stream to upload a video on the recent nerfs that have hit Outriders and give people my opinion on them. So here we are. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So yesterday we got patch notes and changes that came via back end maintenance. These back-end maintenance saw many nerfs hit our beloved character classes, leading to a much, much harder endgame. Yesterday on stream, I ranted about how I thought these changes were the wrong decision. And yeah, for sure guys, I am an Outriders ambassador. People can fly send me juicy loot crates, and Square Enix hook me up with free games. But do you think I'm going to let that outshadow my true feelings about what they have done and seem to be doing to this game? Absolutely not. I've said this before with Destiny and I'll say it again without Riders. If these devs make what in my opinion are the wrong choices, I would not sugarcoat them if I feel the opposite way. If you guys want to watch somebody who's going to brown nose every wrong decision these game devs make, you are watching the wrong guy. Now I just want to say, before these nerfs landed, I was at a place with my trickster where I felt I could at least contribute within a team in challenge tier 14 expeditions. It's taken me a while to get to this stage but I was just about there. I just want to say, the current nerfs apply to my trickster and the build I was using means I struggle now on a world tier 10. That's the impact it's had. So the nerfs in reality changed a lot of things and made things much much harder, which to be honest guys I could kinda see coming. Not within a bundle this soon though, that is the problem, but I could see it coming. The problem I and many people have, I feel is the fact the timing is just way way off. People are just getting to that stage where they are now starting to feel quite powerful. Some people are nowhere near this stage yet, but yeah, a lot of folks have gotten to a stage or are close to that end game stage and feel like they could actually contribute. But being hit with the many server issues the game is having, the bugs and so much more, it has a limited how much certain people can play and that's also a big factor here. In the long run, making things a little harder would probably be beneficial for the game, but not right now. And nerfing the crap out of our classes because of a few elite people who can solo a challenge tier 15 is definitely not the right call. It seems as though people can fly have only seen what elite players are doing here and making decisions based on that. Not looking at the whole community and taking it into account, not everyone can play the game 14 hours a day. I honestly feel they should have firstly before nerfing anything fixed the many issues people are having with the game in terms of server problems, bugs and so much more. I mean the nerfs ain't even soft either, they completely destroy builds, they completely destroy playstyles, I mean it's like they wanted us to play the game how we liked as long as it's how they like. I understand some people out there can solo a challenge tier 15 expedition and the eye of the storm. You're going to get this with many hardcore players and how they are these days. No matter what you do, they will keep coming back and soloing your shit. It just is what it is, it's been like that for ages. But my message to people can fly is, don't nerf everybody because of a select few people. This is entirely the wrong process to take. And yet what they have done is make challenge tiers harder in many instances and at the same time also nerf players. It just puzzles my mind why they've done this. And again, like I said, these select few people that keep coming back and steamrolling the content, it's a thing that they do. Nothing's going to change. Yet millions have suffered in reality because of what a select few people can indeed do. Why and how does that even make sense? Yes, for sure, people are soloing through in game. Fair enough. Reduce time limits, add in extra ads. I mean, there are many things you can do. Don't nerf classes because of a specific build and playstyle can two tap an ad, which you see an elite player using who's probably farmed 14 hours a day since release and got lucky with loot and armor and mods because that takes away from how this game's meant to be and meant to make you feel when you play it. If certain classes feel weaker than others, buff those certain classes or skill trees and bring them up to a level. Don't nerf everything else and take it down to their level. We are supposed to feel powerful. That power fantasy is one of the many things we love about the game. Once you start taking things like that away, which people love, people start turning away. What I'm seeing now, and if this is just the start of things to come, it's a real bad start and it will eventually kill the game off. In a sense of it being once an amazing loot shooter we have all been waiting for since Destiny, to just another loot shooter ruined by its creators. I honestly feel that the game will lose way more people via them nerfing things into the ground over people walking away because the game's too easy or they've done everything. 
and in reality that's what's going to happen here. I do however feel get the sense that people can fly listen to their community. They did so with a demo. They have been transparent up until now and I feel they will come out and clear things up. Should they roll back certain changes? 100% yes, at least for a short period of time, while other things such as the servers and bugs get sorted. It's not a bad thing to admit changes are wrong and decisions were wrong. In fact, it gives much of a better impression on your community and makes you seem more human if wrongful doings are admitted. But we will see what happens guys. Personally, I feel a revert might come, but I wouldn't count on it. We will see over the next week. But yeah, as you asked, these are my thoughts on the recent nerfs. Let me know your opinion on them down below. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a stream or a video, make sure you turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.